All right, so here's uh, the back of that worksheet. So when you're on Desmos, you just type the equations, use that little keypad, and it makes typing them in nice and easy. I already have them in here, um, but let me know if you need help with that. So what we're doing is we're gonna get the points we need from the graph. So like um, the first one I typed in, that was Mr. Lowry's graph. And so his vertex is at seven, nine, and he's got these two roots at four, zero and 10, zero. And then Mrs. Wright, if you just click on your graph, um, the dots will pop up. So we've got roots at six, zero, 11, zero, and then the vertex is up here at 8.5, 6.25. So I'm gonna switch back to the worksheet view, but I just wanted you to see where I got the points from. All right, so um, the points for Lowry's graph, our roots were at four, zero, the vertex was seven, nine, and then the other root was at 10, zero. So then I can plot those points on the graph. So right here at four, zero, at seven, one, two, three, seven, nine is the vertex, and then at 10, zero. So then um, his graph looks kind of like that, okay? So the distance, is from four to 10. So the distance his balloon was six yards. The height, it, the tallest height it went was nine yards. And then our other parabola had roots at six, zero and 11, zero. And then the vertex was 8.5 and 6.25. Okay, so six, zero is right here. 11, zero is right here. And then the vertex is at, um, 8.5, so a little beyond 8, and then up to 6.25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just a little beyond 6. It's okay to estimate when you have decimals. So Mrs. Wright's parabola looks something like that. So the distance was from 6 to 11, which is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 yards, and then the height was just up to 6.25. So whose water balloon went the farthest? Lowry's did, and the highest was also Lowry. So his distance was six versus five, his height was nine versus 6.25, okay? All right, so then parabolas in football. So how far was each throw? So they were thrown from the same spot and caught at the same spot. The difference is um, Metcalf's was higher than Lockett's. See, Lockett's was lower, but they started and stopped at the same place, which is down to, if this is 15 and this is 20, 16, 17, 18, so 18 yards. And how high was the throw to Metcalf? So you go up to the highest point, the vertex over to the side, and it was 10, 10 yards. And how high was the throw to lock it? So you go over to the side and it's one yard above five, so that is six. Go ahead and put my yards on there. And how far away from Wilson was the ball when it was at its highest? So Wilson's standing right here at the zero yard line. And then for both of the throws, they were at their highest at nine yards. All right, for this next one, we are gonna actually go back to Desmos and I will enter in that equation and we'll read the results. All 
All right, so we're back in Desmos. I'm gonna just X out of these two equations and then I'll enter in my new one. So negative 0.75. Parenthesis x minus 2. See there's parentheses here. And then that's squared. And then plus 4. All right, so there's our parabola with all the points we need. So there's a root right here at negative 0 0.309 comma 0. There's a y-intercept right here. There's a vertex up here at 2, 4, and there's another root over here at 4.309 comma 0. And now we can go back to our worksheet and answer all the questions. All right. So... From Desmos, we saw the um, vertex is at 2, 4. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that too. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the y-intercept was at 0, 1. So that's at 0, 1 right here. The roots were at negative 0 0.309 and at 4.309. So that's kind of tricky to graph exactly, but that's okay. Um, it just means between zero and one, it crossed at negative 0.3, which is really close to the line there. And then at one, two, three, four point three, so a little beyond the four. So this is kind of what our parabola looks like. Crosses through all those points and then points down. Okay, so the vertex is a maximum. It opens down. And the line of symmetry, remember that goes straight through the middle, straight through the vertex. And we said the vertex is 2, 4. So we're, whatever x is in the vertex, that is your line of symmetry. So x equals 2. And then describe the direction of the graph. This can be interpreted a lot of different ways. What I'm saying is from when you look at it going from left to right, what's happening is the y values are increasing. Y is increasing until 2, 4. Then it turns and decreases. So you can say this a few different ways. Basically, we're saying y is getting bigger and bigger, y is going up, and then it, at the vertex it kind of stops or it makes a turn, and then y is decreasing. That's what we're talking about with the direction of the graph. You could say from left to right the y values are increasing, then reach the vertex, then decrease, something like that. All right, I hope that was helpful to get you ready for test number eight.